Hey guys, today we're checking out something cool, pun intended. Here we have Pure Loop Liquid Oil and Water Cooler from Be Quiet. This is a 360ml version and in this video we'll check out what you get for your money, its performance and also let you know if you should consider buying it. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as we have a lot of exciting content coming your way. This lineup has four different options to choose from, starting with 120ml and going all the way to 360 to cover a whole range of CPUs. I like how Be Quiet provided a little recommendation guide to help you with your choice. Right here we have the largest variant and in the box we find three Pure Wings 2 PWM fans, cool assembly itself, mounting accessories for Intel and AMD, screws and power cables for pump and LED. These are not controllable in any way, just simple power to SATA connection. We also have triple fan splitter. It would be nice if the fan splitter was a little longer, as right now it is hanging just above the motherboard and it makes it a little bit messy. They have also included a thermal paste, cable ties, manual and lastly some additional coolant. This unit actually comes pre-filled and is going to be good to use right out of the box. Be quite recommend to top it up if it is start hearing some bubbles or in about two years time. The whole process is well documented in the manual. The radiator itself is made out of aluminium and has a standard black finish. The cold plate on the other hand is made out of copper and nickel plating, while the cover is aluminium with a Be Quiet logo. It has a narrow plastic line around it that's going to be the only part with LED lights, so it's pretty minimal and elegant. While I do like the clean look, I think this may be a lost opportunity to satisfy the RGB crowd. While we're on the subject of aesthetics, you may have noticed this little hanging contraption next to the radiator. This one is slightly different from most traditional all-in-one coolers. It is a decoupled pump which due to design choices actually has the ability to slightly move back and forth on one of the tubes. Be Quiet claims that moving the pump away from the main components dampens the vibrations thus making the system quieter. I think people who prefer a minimalistic look will be against it. Personally I think it looks okay, plus actually comes at a very competitive price. The MSRP starts with $85 for the smallest version and goes up to $120 for the 360ml version. With all of that out of the way, let's check out how it performs. We've set it up inside our Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX case with a Ryzen 9 3900XT running at stock. We've also done some tests with Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 air cooler. This is in no way a fair comparison as the air cooler is about two times cheaper, but it's good to have a reference point for general comparison. While we're doing all these tests, our ambient temperature here at the office is about 27 degrees. First we ran Blender Benchmark, which consists of a short BMW test and then longer classroom test. We can see from this graph that the CPU boosted to 4 GHz and stayed there for the duration of the test. When it comes to temperatures, these hit 95 degrees on the air cooler and stayed there while under load. The Pure Loop AAO only peaked at around 80 degrees, which is pretty good start. While benchmarking, the fan on the air cooler was averaging 913 RPM and pure loop fans were averaging 1700 RPM and this was clearly audible. We will talk about noise levels a little bit later on. Moving on to Prime 95 benchmark and here under load we're peaking at 81 degrees with fans hitting the same 1700 RPM. It is actually expected since Prime 95 generates a lot of heat. To be fair, most people wouldn't be using their PC like this. Rendering is only done for a small amount of time in comparison to the actual creative workloads, so let's check out some more realistic tests. Here we have two games running at 1080p with maxed out settings, thus utilizing CPU more than the GPU. Starting with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we see average CPU temperature at 55 degrees with peaks at 65 degrees. I consider this a very good performance. When we look at the fan speeds, these were staying between 750 and 1100 RPM most of the time. To be fair, we now have tripled the amount of fans in comparison to the air cooler, so I would expect them to spin quite slow. In Metro Exodus, the temperature using Pure Loop is staying mostly under 60 degrees. This game is a lot more GPU intensive, which explains why CPU is running pretty cool anyway. When checking out fan speeds, we see them mostly staying under 1000 RPM, which is about 50% off the rated speed. This brings us quite well into testing the fan loudness, and I have very high expectations in this section. After all, this is a Be Quiet product. For this test, we're using the same rig and manually adjusting the fan speeds between 25%, 50%, and 100%. The noise is being measured at 80 centimeters away from the PC, and our room noise floor is 38.3 dBA. 
Starting with a 25% speed, we see 39.2 dBA on the air cooler and 43 dBA on the AIO. Moving on to the 50% speed, we see a 39.7 dBA on the air cooler and 49 dBA on the AIO. And lastly, at full speed, we have 40.2 dBA on the air cooler and 50 on the AIO. Of course, the liquid AIO in this test will be much louder. First of all, it has three fans rather than one, and also they are two times the speed. I actually expect it to be a little bit more loud. Something to note, the fans on the Pure Loop are rated at 2000 RPM at max speed. We found that it can actually hit 2050 while at 100%, when at 50% they spin at around 1600 RPM, and at 25% they hit 1350. So with this in mind, if we compare to the benchmarks we have done earlier, the fans will operate mostly between 25% and 50% speed, which is pretty quiet. Based on acoustics together with the cooling performance, this cooler is actually pretty good. The only thing we are not able to check is how durable it is, but time will tell. It does come with a 3 year warranty, so at this price it looks like a pretty good deal. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one.